we got to take uh, four ounces butter and which is going to be like 113 grams and two eggs and we're gonna mix them Now we're gonna take a uh, three ripe bananas and we're gonna mash them nicely. So you always take the ripe bananas because it's easy to mash. Don't take this like uh, the fresh bananas. It has to be a ripe banana. It can mix well with in a banana cake. Done. Now you're gonna add the, the banana into it. So now we're gonna add a uh, one half cup of matter. Oh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> the flour. And uh, one tablespoon of baking powder. And half tablespoon of salt. and one tablespoon of vanilla essence. Now you're gonna mix them well. Now we're gonna add walnuts. So for me, it's like uh, banana bread is not a banana bread without walnuts. So that's there's a com there's a combination of banana breads of, of walnuts. But if you don't like walnuts, if you don't wanna eat, and if you have allergy with nuts, then you can skip that. You can just simply make the banana breads. So we're gonna mix this. So now you apply a little butter in it.
after applying the butter after applying the butter then you're gonna dust it with a little bit of flour right here Any excess, you're gonna take it out. That's how you're gonna do. Okay, so you're gonna put it over here. So hold, make sure that you have. And you need to preheat your oven for 350 Fahrenheit. And then cook it for a uh, 55 to 60 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean You transfer the whole thing into this pan Okay Okay, it's gonna go in into oven for 55 to 60 minutes and we'll see after that Okay, here our banana cake is ready you see. So we'll wait until it's cooled down and then we'll do the testing So our banana bread has is has ready now 